to Convolution. My name is Khan. I'm joined by two very important guests that you guys know very well from my Game of Thrones reactions. I got my Pogs and my, um, where do you go? He's gone. He's gone. He'll my, come back. Yeah, the other Khan, Sami Khan, he's my uh, brother, of course, my cousin. And this is Pogs. Why is she called that? Uh, you guys, I'll, you guys I'll, I'll let you guys know at a later time. Yeah, but, but they can know my actual name is Tasneem. Yeah, her actual name is Tasneem. But what does the A stand for? That is a mystery. Whoa. But we're here today because I'm super freaking excited to check out Netflix's new hit series, The Witcher. Why? Because it's got my boy Henry Cavill and you know him from being Superman, of course. And uh, so I got uh, my Bob's and my uh, brother Sami over here, whose uh, presence is somewhere over here. He'll join us, don't worry, at least for the pilot episode of The Witcher anyway, he'll be joining us. So uh, super excited to share my experience of The Witcher with them. Uh, Sami probably won't be here for all the episodes, but Bob's will because, you know, she's a connoisseur for all things fantastical. Yes. But uh, that all being said, for those of you guys who don't know, The Witcher is a the Witcher, the um, Netflix series, is based on uh, a series of books by an author named Andrzej uh, Sapowski. Yeah, I might be butchering the name. Did you watch the trailer? Yes. Okay. Oh, I was like... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, just a brief ex explanation uh, before Sami gets here because my brother Sami, he's uh, played Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. He's put in over 200 hours within the game. 200 hours that he should have been spending with you. So that was all I needed to know what this shit is. I yeah. have to watch. Like, what is this about? Exactly. My coworker actually gave me his Netflix password this Friday oh, yeah. because he wants me to watch Witcher. Because oh, so he like... kept on pushing, like, get Netflix, get Netflix. You had Netflix, what happened? I'm like, oh, I, I unsubscribe. I don't want it. <laughs> and then he was like, when Witcher is coming? <laughs> I took Netflix because I want to watch Witcher. I'm like, no, no, no. And then he was like, I'll give you my Netflix if you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> So the uh, story of The Witcher takes place in a medieval world. Uh, there's magic, monsters. Henry Cavill, aka Superman, aka The Witcher, Yay! plays. Oh, Sami's over here, aka the person who's played over 200 plus hours of The Witcher, the three, the Wild Hunt. So yeah, brother Sami's back here. So it's us three, the dynamic trio. So we're here to watch The Witcher. I'm not gonna say no more. Uh, a lot of uh, mayhem, destruction, monsters, magic, and Superman. In three, two, one, let's go, son. Hey, it's Bambi. Oh, you know, you thought of Bambi and I, I thought of Patronus. Oh, he thought of, oh, the doe, Snape. <laughs> Voldemort's locket is in that lake. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Aragorn! The Aragorn! Oh my god, so many Harry Potter shit! Oh, shit. We have super many ways to go. Sword of Gryffindor! Sword of Gryffindor, what? That shot. Headshot. Just the way you kill a Vaseline. Oh shit, right? Holy crap! Damn, Bobs, you found like every single Harry Potter reference within like the first two minutes of the scene. Aww. Today is your day, is it? Damn, Superman started being on a horse, bro. We don't want your kind here, Witcher. <laughs> they all matter. Like everybody, everybody's racist against witchers. You mutant son of a bitch. So witchers are like powerful? Yeah. Kill him with your bare hands if you have to. Uh, good luck. I apologize for my man's interference in your day. Sorry, Renfrey. Renfrey? Go to my friend here and one for me. Uh, Do you eat normal food? Yeah, he eats normal food. But he takes a lot of like magical potions to improve his strength. But he's only able to do that because he's a mutant. He used to be a normal human being as a child, and then some people took him in and like transformed him. My mother called her still would be able to buy her. Oh, secret then. And you desperately need money for new clothes. Bitch! My clothes are perfectly fine, man! How much coin for your pinky more then? I could have wrapped this one in with my breakfast fork. What? It's a fat little girl. You don't scare me. That's too bad. Your father will have no use for this beast. Your father. Pinky more is a useful. Population control. Oh shit. <laughs> That's so messed up. You should speak to Master Irion or Wizard. Oh, they got a wizard? That's enough to buy some new clothes. Just saying. Why does everybody keep hating on my boy's clothes, man? He's got freaking warrior armor, swords, a super a black Superman cloak. That's my name. Where are that? What's your name? Girls. Where are you from, girl? Rivia. Yeah. Because I'm a girl and girls can't be witches. Girls can't be witches? I have to be more. They're, they're, they're yeah. women. women can yeah. naturally use magic. 
they're, they're mages, they're witches. Yeah. So witches and witchers. No, like there's wizards and witches, but there's only witchers, which are just guys. Nice. You'll understand as it goes. <laughs> oh shit, Alohomora! <laughs> you have to say it, do yeah, it. You gotta say it. it. Oh shit, no, he's super bad. He doesn't need no magic words. Wait, what the hell? A freaking floating tree? I'm Strickle. You don't want my monster. You want me to kill yours? Very clever. His name is Renfrey. Oh shit! Stregobor wants him to kill the girl? Yeah, the pretty girl. The pretty girl? Oh. Not yet. There's no way you can get five. Princess Siri. Yeah. Damn! Queen, which will symbolize your duty and bond as liegemen. Did you win this time? I can shout you. Wait, huh? Is it too much to ask that you exercise a modicum of respect? This is your duty as king and grandfather. Wizards are all the same. You talk nonsense while making wise and meaningful faces. Speak no. normally. <laughs> that is so true. You should have heard the curse of the Black Sun first full eclipse in 1200 years. Mark the imminent return of Lilith, demon goddess of the night, sent to exterminate the human race. Lilith's path was to be prepared by 60 women wearing gold crowns. And I'm Renfrey, a beautiful one. So, she's cursed. But do you consider me a fool, Witcher? Yes. Killing Renfrey is the lesser evil. If I have to choose between one evil and another, then I prefer not to choose at all. Damn, Superman! Dude, whenever he talks, I just listen, you know? So he wants her, him to kill the girl? He, he thinks, like, since she was born under a black sun, she has to be, like, uh, uh, one of the uh, 60 apostles of Lilith or something, you know? But it's not certain. It's not certain. North has been at war since Nilfgaard took Abby. So these two are is true. series well, grandparents. The the so Grandma's grandpa? If not, That's like Grandma Goals. <laughs> Grandma Goals. <laughs> Grandma Goals 2020. As in life, it is impossible always to be fully prepared for that. Would you want to be with the dogs? Martin, she'd love to. <laughs> you should tell the girl. Let her enjoy this night in peace. Make me her last for a while. What? What did she the show us? She took you to see Stregobor, didn't she? I used to be a princess. Did he tell you that? Stregobor's man raped me. No more princess. You want me to kill Stregobor for you? There you go. It's the lesser evil. That's what he said too. So I did get it all. <laughs> call you a monster too. I am what they say I am. Damn, Superman! I'm not gay. If but if I, I was. <laughs> I can I admit I'm a monster. You can leave Blaviken and finally live. Yeah, like she's gonna do that. There's no way she's gonna leave. She's got too much anger built up. They don't have enough soldiers, it seems. Oh, oh, that was only half, bro. Watch out. <laughs> I know, seriously. Oh, okay, damn. All right, let's go. How can they tell who is who? They can't. They can't. Like, you might end up killing your own people. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're not gonna get any help. <laughs> oh, shit! King is gone. Man, kill this featherhead. Take your helmet! I know, seriously, do yeah. not go alone. Seriously? That okay. worked? Well, actually, I don't doubt it. It's Henry Cavill. When Henry Cavill tells you to do stuff, you do it. 
to know the thoughts uh -oh. playing around in there. I mean, I love the music in the background, but I do not like what's happening. Oh, no. Good, I don't trust this girl. He's Gerald. He's Gerald, oh, yeah. He's, he's very notorious for making out with every woman in the country. No, that's why you play this game? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can even play those scenes. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, meanwhile! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah! Mm, stop me! No! <laughs> Destiny may yet side with us. Our citizens are being tortured. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's go to high school. <laughs> Some powers! I love you. Find Geralt of Rivia. He is your destiny. So, uh, sorry, you can see that uh, my brother just left because Queen Kalanthi sent uh, off Siri, but uh, apparently she sent Sami too. So he disappeared at the same time. To he, find Siri? No, he went to go find Geralt, uh, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> <laughs> he went to go find that shit. Yeah, well, he went outside, so he's gonna. Uh, he need to go outside. Um, so uh, we're, we're gonna continue the episode uh, together, and we'll, he'll watch it after he comes back. I give you my word. It is time. It's poison. <laughs> Are she gonna jump? Why kill yourself like that? I don't know. He doesn't want to die with poison, he wants to die by a sword, some shit like that. Princess, come. Hey! Don't look back, run! Keep going. Princess, I gave your grandmother my word. Oh no shit, it's Featherhead! Oh, well, please don't tell me she took his horse. The market. She knew you'd come. I think so. You have to choose the lesser evil. It's an ultimatum. Hey guys, so hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to episode 1 of The Witcher. Now after watching episode 1, my sister-in-law and I, we filmed a pretty thorough discussion video of uh, what we thought about episode 1 of The Witcher and what our thoughts are on, are on the story going forward. However, a lot of that portion of the discussion as well as some of the last parts of our reaction video, a lot of the audio got jumbled up and a lot of the file was corrupted and so it really didn't render. So I decided to put up a separate discussion video telling you guys, at least for this episode 1, uh, what our thoughts were. So basically, 
actually, uh, Bob's and I, we both enjoyed um, episode one quite a bit. However, Bob's and I, we both agreed that this episode had a lot of stuff. Like, it just had a whole bunch of stuff. Now, for, for someone like myself who watched all the trailers and uh, had uh, paid attention to a lot of the interviews prior to the season actually airing, as well as like checking out the featurettes, I was able to follow a lot of the stuff that was being thrown in, like names and locations, and of course, understanding the characters and sort of the idea of this world. And thanks to a lot of you guys in the comments for actually revealing a lot of that information to me prior to starting the series so it was a little bit easier going into the series and understanding what was going on and how it was happening um my brother uh, sami he actually played over 200 plus hours of the witcher 3 wild hunt so he understood a lot of the terminology you know without having to watch any of the featurettes and stuff so he really enjoyed the episode as well and after he came back from uh be going outside he had to go to outside because of an emergency but he had to after he came back he actually finished watching episode one and he watched episode two which are my my pops and I, we all watched episode two together. And so I'm going to be putting up that reaction very soon. So if you guys are enjoying watching these reactions with us, don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, share the video with any other fans of The Witcher out there. Because my my sister-in-law and I will be reacting to all the episodes of The Witcher for sure. And then uploading their react uploading our reactions onto the channel. But as And Sami, my brother Sami, will join us for some of the reactions. But uh, that all being said, what did we think of this episode? Like I said, you know, Pops and I, we both thought that the episode was a little bit heavy in like material just the big because it felt like you know for somebody who's never seen the witcher or has any idea or has never read the books or have heard of the show before and i just told her like uh, just a day ago prior to filming that you know hey bobs check out this trailer i think you might like it would you want to watch this uh, uh series with us because it has magic and as you saw in the reaction video my pops and i were super like harry potter nerds and stuff so we love all this kind of fantasy stuff mystical mo mythical monsters and all that mumbo jumbo so we both adore those aspects of the episode however she expressed that some of the stuff in the episode was a little bit hard to follow for example a lot of the names and locations that were being thrown around like for example Nilfgaard versus uh, the kingdom of Sintra why they're in combat with each other why they're why Nilfgaard wants to take over uh, Sintra and what's their ultimate goal for doing that like why does Ciri have the powers that she does and how is it different from like the way magic is displayed through you know the witcher through the you know illusionary magic that we've seen being displayed by the wizard you know who's well i don't really trust this wizard of course he seems like a very shady dude of course and he's like he he's that typical um stereotypical uh wizard who you know sends you on quests and stuff and that's what this episode really felt like you know the witcher shows up in town a lot of people hate him you know that typical you know brute enters um a tavern or something like that and nobody likes him he gets into a bar fight and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so a lot of that the, there were a lot of cliches in this episode as well didn't make it any less enjoyable of course but uh there were a lot of cliches a lot of those aspects are a little bit difficult to follow like the world like you know a lot of the concepts of lilith and that uh, sort of uh prophecy or myth that was discussed by you know discussed by the wizard you know right off the bat so when pops and i were discussing it we really thought to ourselves like yeah this is a whole lot of information you know there's this myth about lilith Lilith and her 60 women with golden crowns and how uh, Renfri sort of played into that. Could Ciri also be one of these 60 women? Possibly is that why she has these sort of mystical powers? And Nilfgaard, that featherhead general of Nilfgaard, was taking her away. So I'm guessing that's why they invaded uh, the Kingdom of Sindra in the first place for her and to be after the power that she carries. And even if they weren't after the power or just after, you know, the, the head of the, the kingdom itself, at least the featherhead guy, he didn't die. So he obviously knows that the girl has power now and of course Renfri while talking to Geralt of Rivia she states that you know uh the girl in the woods and we see Siri in the woods afterwards that you know the girl in the woods is ultimately going to be your destiny so I'm guessing these two characters are going to end up meeting at some point because uh, of course in the games that's the, the, the Witcher 3 the Wild Hunt is all about them uh, the, their story and their story together and stuff like that what was Geralt of Rivia like as a main character well he was that typical you know strong burly warrior type of old school Hollywood hero you know with a like a golden heart with a very soft heart of course he like you know befriends Marilka well not befriend but he accepts Marilka's help a little bit I think it'll take a couple of episodes to flesh out his character a little bit more like one question that Bob's really asked me was that you know how are witchers born and that's something I even I don't really know. I know they undergo like tons and tons of experiments and not very many people survive, but I I, I still, we both want to know like what exactly witchers are besides the fact that they're just mutants and they use like different sorts of alchemical uh, formulas to enhance their physical properties and they fight monsters and they, I know 
they have like their own guild but like what's their purpose in this world like why do they do the things that they do besides just you know gathering coin and you know killing monsters and stuff like what how is their magic different from series magic different from this wizard's magic and i know from the trailers that we're gonna see other mages you know like the witches like yennefer of course what also about this episode the music is beautiful you know the, the music felt like a strange mixture of like celtic and almost nordic music but you know don't quote me on that because i'm not sure that's just what it sounded like uh, to a certain extent um the the action was phenomenal the sword fighting is like the sword fighting i've never seen before so fast and fluid like you know they choreographed the hell out of that shit and it looks so good and the violence like the graphic violence he like stuck the sword inside that guy's face and like pulled it out absolutely awesome it just depicts how badass Geralt is he took down a, he was like a one-man army and of course that's how he gained the title of uh, the butcher of Blaviken and so I, I explained that to Bob's uh, during our discussion video and so like you know we're all very aware there was one question that I did have uh, I, I remember voicing during our filming of the discussion was that you know there was this battle of hodgepodge that was discussed in um uh, when Renfrey was talking and she was talking how like the battle of hodgepodge she was talking in a way that the ba that battle had just happened with the princess of uh, or the queen of uh Sintra or the pr princess Calante Calante Calantre I, I forget how to pronounce that name but th that that battle had just happened but uh, in uh when Siri was talking about it she said that the battle of hodgepodge happened like several years ago when when the queen actually was series age so like i know one of you guys mentioned i know that some of you came over to my discord and of course if you guys haven't joined over on my discord you guys can continue the conversation about the witcher over there so come over and join over there because uh basically i created a separate channel for the witcher where you can talk about witcher stuff you can also talk about spoiler stuff in a separate spoiler channel that i have over there so i'm super excited to talk to you guys about that but basically uh, one of you guys shared with me that uh, be, uh, pay close attention to a lot of the details in these episodes because you'll uh, it'll give you clues as to like the different timelines that are taking place so that's one thing that i didn't know about that these episodes might be uh potentially having different timelines so that's one thing that i'm super looking forward to figuring out more about share your thoughts and comments down below like what did you guys think about this first episode as well as you know what are your ideas of this series going forward if you guys have already seen the full um series have already binged through it what are your thoughts on it of course remaining spoiler free of course you know no spoilers here but yeah those are basically our main thoughts and ideas about the first episode the characters need to grow on us a little bit more but overall this episode had a lot of action beautiful music beautiful set design choreography and like uh, awesome costumes and everything so you know that Netflix is spending their money for this series I mean the first battle with the Kikimura looked very nice and I, I felt like it was like the character the enemy itself I think they were able to use the CGI very uh, well because you know the character is a the monster itself is a amphibian type of creature you know so it, it's obviously gonna look moist and had a lot of those CGI, CGI elements to it. The magic looks fluid. I think uh, I'm very invested in this series just from one episode. I think like Bob said that, you know, it was a little bit hard to follow, but she's very eager to check out what the other episodes are going to have. We already filmed our reaction to episode two titled The Four Marks. So I'm going to be releasing our reaction to that uh, very soon and uh, our discussion to that as well. So hopefully that file isn't corrupted or anything like that. We're super excited for this series going forward and we cannot wait. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below and we'll see you guys later in the next episode of The Witcher. Until then, have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.